Hi y'all, it's Miss Clarissa 84. So right now I want to do a review on the LG Optimus V from Virgin Mobile. And um, you have to excuse me if I'm talking kind of loud because um, I did last videos and they were actually too, um, let me see, let me, what's the good word for it? It was basically just too low. Nobody can hear me. So, I'm making sure everybody can hear me now. So, anyway, this is the LG Optimus V from Virgin Mobile. It might be a little blurry from this camera. Um, but this is basically it. Maybe if I could tilt it to the side, you'll probably can see it better. Um, but it has these four buttons. This one, let me actually go. Okay. This one, um... Is actually um, a button like a menu button this one is this one is the home button this one's the back button and this is the button for if you want to actually go look for something and it will take you to the actual um, sorry if you can't see it well but it will actually take you to a menu where you can actually do your searching for whatever you're looking for and it's fast responsive um, okay See, see, fast response, and um, and so then also it has a camera button, it has a speaker button, it has a micro SD slot right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It has an on and off button which I didn't take the little wrapping part off and it has a headphone jack and um, of course it's got the Google logo or something on there I don't know if you'd be able to see it um, but it seems like a okay phone I have I had the actual Cricut L not LG Optimus from Cricut but the Huawei Xen I think I'm pronouncing that right um, I didn't like it for a number of reasons and I don't know if it's from Android period but the phone would actually freeze when I'm dialing it might actually dial somebody else's number I just didn't appreciate it so anyway you can go on Gmail on here I don't know if you'll be able to see it because of the stupid glare that's going on with this phone uh, the phone and the computer all you're seeing is just you know low glare but um also youtube is pretty good you can actually go on youtube on here and see if i can kind of let you see it a little bit see and for instance if i want to watch this video which i have clicked on it you can um let's see i'm trying to wait for it to pop up This also happens when you use it a, probably like a couple of a couple of days. It might end up slowing. It depends on the area. Like I was trying to pull up a video earlier on YouTube at work, and it was doing the same exact thing. I don't understand what's going on, but um, let's try. Let's try something else. See if it pops up. Hmm. Okay, it's just I don't know what's going on at this moment, but it's not pulling up. Um, that's the first. That's the first time that actually has happened. Um, while I was at home, the first time has been at work and um but anyway it also gives you a, a you know menu where you can actually you know look for it more look for other stuff you um you have your browser button right here and you, it'll take you to an internet um 
Let's see what else can I really say about this phone. I'm trying to pull up the YouTube on here. You have to excuse Kamora. That's my seven month daughter. Okay. It's finally working. So this is what happens when you turn the phone sideways. Sorry for the glare, but this is what happens when you turn the phone sideways. You can see the um no, that ain't even working. I don't know. Um, but um, when you turn the phone sideways, you can see the whole video and widescreen. If you turn it this way, back to normal, it will actually go back to the normal setting as if you was holding the phone, like texting. And speaking of texting, um, let's see here. Texting is pretty cool because I could actually text somebody and say, uh, but when I'm texting, I could actually say it in a voice, do the voice text because it has a speaker. So I can go, hello, it'll register, and it will say hello. So, um, and then you could just press send. You don't even have to worry about pressing a button, you know, pressing texting and stuff like that. So it has a full QWERTY board right here. I'm trying to make sure you see it, but it has a full QWERTY board. You could also do the little, you know, the little swipe thing here, um, which is pretty cool. Also, you could do like the caller ID pictures. Um, let's see, what else does it have on here that I can really talk about? You, um, also the camera. The camera is probably something really good to talk about. This is the camera setting, okay, and you have your YouTube setting. Okay, it actually will say YouTube. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says YouTube at the very bottom. Then white balance for and it gives you a bunch of choices. Also color effect. It gives you a bunch of choices with that. Okay. If you go uh, to camera setting, the first one was camcorder setting, sorry. You will get the zoom where you can actually swipe it up and you can zoom in or zoom out and um, then of course you have the white balance on here you have your st uh, store location um, you have your focus mode on here um, You also have a cool alarm clock setting. And the alarm clock setting is pretty cool. Um, you got a clock setting, and it will actually do this. See, so it tells you the temperature and everything. When you turn it sideways, it does that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Okay. Um, also, a good app. To save, try to save your battery will be Easy Battery Saver. You get it's um free, and you could get it off of the marketplace. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to really go into it real um um hard because unfortunately, when you do this, you can't hardly see it. So anyway, when you swipe, hold on. When you swipe it, it's fast responding. What other settings we have on here? You can get on Facebook, of course. Okay, it's not for some reason it's take it to what? The loading is it's not that long, but I'm gonna tell you right now. The most annoying thing about this phone, and I don't have that many, would be the battery. Okay? The battery 
charges for it takes four hours to get a full charge so if you're at work and you're down to one bar maybe you're hiding and texting it's not going to work okay you're you're just going to be out of luck because the phone takes four hours to charge i don't like that i don't i don't understand why it takes four hours to charge but it's ridiculous also when you want to go to your account you um it will direct you to the virgin mobile website and you can put your information in there you'll have to do that each time to check your account it also comes with news and weather okay where it's showing uh let's see it's showing that that's current in upper marlboro um it's a lot of good things about this phone you know even like the gallery seems pretty cool where you keep all your good cool stuff okay um let's see here let's try this one this is a video i did this morning oh you can't see my daughter on here she is just going crazy for some reason but yeah so anyway i got the 35 dollars a month plan and really i thought it was unlimited everything i should have known that wasn't true it's 35 dollars a month for unlimited data text and web um and of course you know pictures but 300 minutes if you want unlimited everything you have to go to 55 dollars a month to get unlimited everything um also another app i forgot to tell you about on there that comes with this phone is the street map thing where it's going to gps you and all this other stuff here you know you can do that um then they had what is that latitude you know i'm just going through the stuff that comes with the phone you know like facebook automatically comes with the phone you know the marketplace of course music I don't really have any music on here, but there's some pretty cool apps for free ringtones. Um, so I do have like two ringtones on here. Okay, that's so that's all I got. But as you can tell, it's really loud. Also, when you text, if you want the sound on there, you can actually get take the sound off or take the sound on. Uh, speaking about sound, if you you know don't feel like messing with your volume rocker buttons, which are on the side here, you could just do a simple little swipe. Look at this. Look how easy this is in a few minutes. Hold on. Boop. There you go. And it says sound is on. Turn the sound off. You just, boop. There you go. Sound is off. Of course, that was a little blurry. But anyway, and it comes with these headphone jacks that I don't know what the heck happened over there, over there in my work bag. But it comes with headphone jacks. It does come with this little adapter. So you can plug your phone into the computer. And like I said, it's a good phone. I don't know about the HTC Wildfire because I actually wanted that. But, of course, I couldn't get to it. So, anyway, I...